biggest thing that the E3 does uh, compared to any other tool really is uh, be able to do uh, almost any job we can think up for it. We can use E3 for most of the things that we need to do. It certainly goes places other drones uh, can't. Um, I mean, it can get into a much smaller space. Um, it can go, uh, you know, around some pretty tight corners and around equipment and so on. Uh, not only just physically, but also uh, safely, um, because the prop props are protected within the cage. You know, over time, we've moved from honestly back in the day, uh, someone with a sketch pad to a camera to a print with some notes on it. Um, to maybe some video, um, but you know, this is giving us a laser scan, video footage, and photos all in one go. So the ultimate goal with a program like this for us is to end up where we systematically collect the most data we can uh, without even knowing if we're looking for something yet. So if we make a tool or have a tool um, where we can just deploy it everywhere we go and collect all the data that we can collect, then we can have a library. And if we have to retrospectively go back and look at what did that look like in the past, what did that look like on the fourth scan ago that we did and compare it to today, that's the, that's the ultimate end goal. We need to have the hardware uh, at, at this point where we can just tell everyone to take it with them when they go and it's not gonna make a big difference on their data that they have to do systematic data collection. Uh, then bring that data back to surface. We need to be able to consolidate it quickly and also have it in a library where we can pull up the past and quickly reference not just the laser scan but also the photo and video and so on all at the same time. Flying the Elios is like uh, the flying the Mavic of underground. Um, it's something that you can safely pick up. Um, you can explore as you, as you, you, know, as you want um, and we can also take people who don't have expert stick time and get them to explore and, and learn what the drone can do. I think the best way to think about the value of a tool like this is to think about how you would do it without the tool. To get to some places you'd be talking pulling a two million dollar loader off of its job, strapping a scanner onto it and sending it in somewhere remotely because it, it had that capability. Or taking a production drill off of productive work and bringing it to a site, drilling a hole um, to put in a remote scanner of some kind. So you're talking about something like that turning into a 15 minute job. That's where the real savings is. Yeah, so especially when we're talking about long infrastructure like raises and ore passes, um, conventional way to look at that would have to be, you know, starting by taking a gas set where we need to see <laughs> what the inside of it looks like and drilling holes or inserting sensors. Um, with, with the E3, we can just systematically cover that entire area and discover where the problem is. We don't need to start with an idea. Um, often we have to look at something physical like a LiDAR scan or dimensions, but often we also want to see the visual part of it. Um, and the visual part of it also means we need, means we need lighting involved. Um, so the fact that we collect all that in one tool and get to see it uh, side by each, so we can see the laser scan in the same spot that we see the camera and the same spot that we see the video is key for us to be able to make an analysis out of all of that data together.